the purpose of a product is determined in the factory not in the market the shoe you are wearing may cost 10 times the price of a tie but you can't do the job of a tie the ring on your finger may cost a hundred times more than the cost of your pair of shoes but you can't wear it before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. I ordained thee and I separated thee to be a prophet. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. And he said, I am the Lord, I chain not. What I say to one, I say to all. So before we were born, he knew us. And he separated us to a particular purpose in life. Paul said, Galatians 1 verse 15, God who separated me from my mother's womb, God holds our destiny in his hand. We have a job to go find out what it is. Therefore, purpose to be discovered, not to be determined. What you want to do is one. What God wants you to do is another. Lord, what would you have me to do? Where would you have me to go? How would you want me to go about it? I will stand upon my watch and set me upon a tower. And I will want to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I'm reproved. And the Lord said, write a vision. Write it, make it clear enough. And then pursue it. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. In the Revised Standard Version, it says, For I know the plans that I have for you. The plans of welfare and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. I came across that scripture in 1977. And the Lord said to me, your future is not in your plan, but in my plan. You want to secure a future? Go for my plan. Look out for my plan. Seek out my plan. I'm privileged to be a minister today, not by my choice. That's not my choice. Yes, I love Jesus. I've been preaching crusades since 1976 with a passion for God. But I didn't imagine I would be in ministry. I didn't think of it. It wasn't part of my thought. But he taught me earlier, your future is in my plan, not in your plan. It's important for us to know that. Most of us are swimming against the tide because we don't know the plan and purpose of God. We're living our life to chance. And living your life to chance, you don't have a chance. You'll be going from pillar to post, you won't know where you're going. Without a vision, a discovery of purpose, the people perish. They are stripped of honor, stripped of dignity, they become empty. Never mistake opportunity for destiny. They are not the same. I had all the opportunity in the world to live outside this country forever. But that's not where he sent me. And by abiding in the place he sends you, he backs you up. When you lose God's backing, you become empty. There is no extraordinary person anywhere. It is the backing of the extraordinary God that makes an ordinary man look extraordinary. Don't miss his backing. You don't have a future if you do settle down to locate god's plan for your life i pray that none of you will undertake an adventure in frustration